first went to Pure Heart and I went back home, um, one of the first things I did was try to watch the live feeds on Sunday and I would actually sit down with my cup of coffee and then I would send Brandy a text and say, okay, are you there? Cause I'm here, I'm totally in. Brandy called me and said, I just booked my first missions trip. What do you think? And I said, I think I totally need to go with you. I think everything kind of just lined up and I definitely have been drawn here by our Lord and it's amazing. Since I've been at Pure Heart, I've been on three trips. I think each time I go, I, I draw a little closer to the Lord and, and my walk is uh, that much stronger. The first one, we shared the gospel. We uh, set up picnics for the families and uh, just shared the love of the Lord with them. Second two have been with One Mission, building a home for families that are in need, that don't have a place to live. It's been wonderful to give back to this community who, I mean, the, the residents of the community seem to just A, love God, and on top of that, love each other, and they're always helping each other, and they're always reaching out. I see these people who have, by our standards, have nothing. You know, they, they, a lot of them don't even have a house, or if they have a house, it's, it's uh, you know, one or two rooms with, with five or six people living in it. And what hit me is that they're happy, that they have a, a full life, that they have joy in their hearts. It left me, when I went back, uh, wondering who is really blessed, you know, them or us. Yeah, you definitely get that immediate feeling right in your face where you're like, okay, never mind, I'm never going to complain again. To them, we think of ourselves as being so blessed because of all the material things we have, but I think I envy their simple happiness and joy. I think they're the ones with the blessing. There are so many things that we just want instantly, and I think that because of that, we've created a lot of false priorities. And I think that this is a good lesson to show kids and adults that putting God first will bring everything that you need right to you. One of the things that I prayed for the most is, is Lord, what's my role here? What, you know, how do you want to use me? How do you, how do you intend for me to fit in to this mission? But I'm just going to let the Holy Spirit uh, work through me. You know, I find myself in a position where I'm able to encourage and, and bless teammates or, or the people we're working with or whoever. If we can just get out of the way and put our, our plans and our ideas and our dreams aside and let the Holy Spirit work through us, then uh, amazing things happen.